Hello, so I'll talk a bit about Switzerland. What an incredible place. I absolutely loved Switzerland. to Geneva because the flights worked out loads cheaper and then got the train up to St Moritz. The train was super simple, there were three changes but they were all really easy. From the airport I went straight through to Zurich, Zurich through to Kerr and then from Kerr I got the train up to St Moritz. Yeah it took about six hours in total but just cracked on with a bit of work, got some editing done, watched a bit of TV on my phone and just chilled out so easy jet queues made me almost miss a flight. And got into summer it's at 5 p.m. So obviously 4 p.m. UK time. So it wasn't too awful. Swiss trains are so efficient. Straight into meal out with Lee, catch up with him and Lynn. Really enjoyed seeing those guys after such a long time away. And then day one, we were straight into a three hour ride in the mountains. Lee had this route to show me, so we spun down uh, through the valley from St. Moritz and dropped all the way down to the Italian border. It took about an hour to do that sort of 35k because you're just descending the whole way beautiful beautiful views came back up and it was like a slap in the face obviously we had to climb 1100 meters in the 35 to 40k that we just lost but that was really nice stopped for water at a nice little fountain halfway up had a coffee at the bottom and that was really cool and then i was straight to a 30 minute run off the bike but Lee uh, just did an easy, a shorter run just to like flush his legs through, so he didn't get any content of that, unfortunately. Day two was pretty cool. I was meant to have a rest day, so I just did an hour with Lee. He was on a time trial bike, but I just kept my watts nice and easy and got as much content as I can. It's cool to see him riding the TT bike again. And yeah, he's looking good and getting dialed in for his Duathlon World Champs, uh, which will be at, out in Hungary. So again, super flat ride along the valley. In the afternoon, I just went for a swim and Lee had a track workout, so... Yeah, went to film Lee on the track, which was really cool. Laura, the Laura Muir group was there. I didn't film any content for them because obviously not everyone likes a new photographer sticking a massive lens in their face. So generally I wait to be asked uh, if they want any content. Tuesday morning was track workout for me, hill session for Lee, so no filming there. And then in the afternoon we did a couple of hours up the Benina Pass, which was absolutely beautiful. Uh, climbed up there, the weather was glorious. Uh, a bit chilly at the top with the snow, but yeah, we stopped at, the, went, climbed up to the sign, dropped back down to the lake, ah, and absolutely loved it. Yeah, loads of content, both up and down. So I'll get, make sure I get the training montage at the end of this video, so you can see some of the footage from Switzerland, and then some of the photos. Then the next day we did a super long ride. It was a Wednesday, so I was only there for full days. Uh, of shooting and then a half day either side plus the traveling so the next day we did a four and a half hour ride in the mountains which was absolutely stunning up the julia pass round down headed over towards davos but not all the way to davos and up one of the famous climbs there from the bottom uh, which climbed about 1400 meters all in it was one of the most beautiful things I've, I've ridden in a while loads of photos loads of video unfortunately i attacked lee on that climb uh, which you'll see either in this video or the next one. But then went back for him with biscuits to bail him out of, of the way he was in. And then a nice long descent back to St Moritz. He was going to do a run off the bike, but we aborted that mission in favour of chilling out and going for pizza, which was really cool. So yeah, and then finally on the last day, Lee had a track workout before I got the train back to Geneva. So yeah, just shout out to Lee for taking me along because we created some amazing content. If you're not already following him, you can follow him here somewhere, I'll put a card up so you can uh, check out his channel uh, where all the content will be. And yeah, looking forward to getting stuck into a trip to Hungary with him in a few weeks for his Duathlon World Championship. So that's the 11th of June or the 10th of June. So yeah, stay tuned to see more content on that side of things.